Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 151. If you had a chance to look at Excel Video 63 like we talked about last time, we used if error then in a VLOOKUP application. I'm going to show you a different way to use if error today. What if error is, is it's under uh, logical and if error. That's where you'll find it. Let me show you how it works. What I have today is I dumped in a bunch of uh, fake CPT codes from my PM system and I know the collections by CPT code and I know the number of times I build each CPT code. So I just have a simple formula here that says, hey, give me the average amount that I'm collecting by CPT code, which is fantastic until you get to CPT codes that you didn't build that year. You know, and in the real world, you know, you're not going to have nine of these. You might have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of uh, rows, particularly if you've got modifiers out here. And to go through and fix each one and either delete this or do something, and what happens if you know next time you, there actually are five uses and you got to go back and change the formula? There's an easier way to get rid of these divide by zero error things. What you can do, let me show you what the form. The form is very simple. It's just B41 divided by C41. But if you kind of enclose that formula in if error, like that, and what we're going to do is we're just going to say B41 divided by C41. So there's my basic formula. And the way if error works, if you can see the little thing that's hovering below it, if error says, give me the formula that you want, and then if there's an error, you put a comma and you can put a message that says not build, put the right parenthesis. And now, as long as it's built, I'm getting the very same number, and that works just fine. But watch what happens when I drag this down. Now I get not build here as opposed to divide by zero error. And it just makes your reports look a little more professional, a little more like you've done a little more homework review or whatever, because instead of having error messages, you can say, oh, no, I'm going to trap that error. I'm going to catch it and uh, say I'm going to say not build here instead of just divide by zero. Let me give you one quick warning about if error. If error catches all kinds of different problems. If there's any kind of error, it's going to put not build there. So what I'll always do is make sure that I've got my formula working first. I make sure this works the way I want it to. There's only one type of error that I'm missing. I want to make sure that I don't have anything else going on, particularly if I've got a complicated formula in if error, because if error is going to hide all the errors and just put something there in its place. So I want to make sure I understand the errors I'm capturing. And then once I do, I'm just going to put if error. Let's come up here. If error if B46 divided by C46 is an error, and it'll tell you what the error is on this cell, then here's the value of error, and it'll print not build in the cell instead of the, uh, the goofy error message from Excel. That's what I wanted to show you today, and that's what I wanted to show you on the logical uh, formulas that are in Excel. Stay tuned next time. We're going to start text. Thanks for watching.